probe away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. launched. Probe away. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and omni-tool upgrades which allows squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe 
probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Scans have found something. Probe launched. launched.
Commander Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought except. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. 
Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Nah, I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. Well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. 
Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, Please, let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up- Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund. Me Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. This looks interesting. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the Immuno Booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. You can get whatever you'd like from this chamber, Michael. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. He wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. 
I'm Commander Shepard, and this is... That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. I'll take it. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was, pick up a module. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Please move along. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damned shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that Chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Let's go. Be careful out there. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit shit. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Please move along. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Let's go. Be careful out there. I'm Commander Shepard, and this... Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation... Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Tifari, now available with dextro amino acids. I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on. You claim you did... Please move along. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the... A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A decent-sized ship, even used, costs hundreds of thousands of credits. I know. It's crazy, right? But I still like to daydream when I look at the hollows. 
And I could do amazing things to the engines. I'd make them sing like birds. Let's go. Be careful out there. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit shit. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on it. Are you sure you're being straight with me? There's nothing you want to... Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? You sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years! I just... He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. It's something to do with the Omnigel Modulator's heatsink, right? That's why he asked us to go to Sarin's. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined c so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Eh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. c -Sec won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame. tame. A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Well, my name's Shepard. The I... Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander <laughs> No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement.
What can I do for you? Just looking around. All right. I'm here if you... So what do you... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kaliza been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone, comforting to some. You have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. for me, thanks. Looking for... Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I'm done for now. All right. And I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if they're fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. I get that. Oh, the only place I know When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile Flower. Avena, have a pleasant day. 
You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh, I'm sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your I'm position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? What do you need what? me to do? I'm Commander Shepard, and this Excellent. is... Excellent. I will get my clerical... Yes? I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit shit. Did you happen to see him drop? Gracias. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Tensions between non-biotic and biotic humans are growing. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog in her. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. I'm legally... You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? 
You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander, we were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... Unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I guess I'm on my own, again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Counselor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? 
Not used to seeing ghosts, Sudina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. And going behind my back does nothing to help our position on the Council. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Do you really want people to know your advisor arranged a deal without you? You can say you knew all along, or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. So long, counselor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I think it would be best if I kept my distance. Strictly for appearances, of course. What an ass. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus.
recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to one point. away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Something on our sensors.
launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away.
dead. intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Data uploaded to Cerberus command. Commander, you've received a new message.
Mad Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now? You and me. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Here's to the men and women of the Alliance. May fortune find them all. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you... How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything Absolutely. You need? Since you set up my kitchen... I won't take Back to work. Commander, what can Do I you do? have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. 
I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander.
hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. No messages for you, Commander. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe.
launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe.
probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away.
probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small... Just don't start talking business with him. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this get-up for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless, personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. 
What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds Keiji's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on Olive? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. How about those gravel? That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Ms. Gunn. We need to case the vault, Gunn. You can chat up Hawk later. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large... I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never let... Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. <sighs> if we could tap into the guards community... What's your read on that Archangel guy? He's making it too expensive to do business on Omega. Though I hear some mercs are coming together to deal with it. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX-700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA? Child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Don't touch that. Without Hawk's DNA, you'll set off every alarm in the building. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Long enough 
for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Think nothing of it. I'm pleased that you weren't offended. Now, if you'll excuse me. Not nearly enough of a sample. Keep him talking. I was hoping to have a little more of your time. You have my attention. Use it wisely. This is a hell of a party, Hawk. I'll give your compliments to the staff. Now, I really must see to my other guests. That'll have to do. I'll see what I can scrape together for the voice print. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. One sec. <laughs> 